What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Frankie with Think Like the Enemy. Today, I'm showing you a different kind of reporting, one that I hope that you sincerely enjoy. I'm bringing you the daily CPR as a more of a comedic relief form of knowledge because I'm seeing that a lot of the things that we're seeing in the news are so freaking outrageous that the only way that we can actually deal with them is just by laughing. Because that's how crazy they are. And today in the world, we have a new notion being floating around and people are searching it like crazy. This is a trend right now. And it is centrism. Centrism, in essence, it's basically the idea that instead of having a left or right perspective on what politics should be, you're more right smack in the middle. And right smack in the middle in a way that you're not trying to push anybody off. You're not trying to basically have an argument, which we have seen it for the past, I would say, oh, I don't know, uh, two, three terms of a presidency in the United States of America. We have seen in the past three years, though, that nobody wants to piss anybody off. There's no debate going on that is fruitful and beneficial for our nation. That is the freaking truth. More so, centrism, if you do a deep dive into it, you can see that it comes from our favorite socialist crazy person, Mr. Karl Marx. Because in a way, to make socialism more palatable, one of the notions that he used in his writings was centrism, to bring people together in a way that it would be completely taken into context that the actual idea of socialism was to help everybody around you. How crazy is that? Who would have seen this coming? Hmm, I don't know. I've been talking about it for a couple years now. I even wrote a freaking book about it. But here we are. That's one of the main things that we're seeing today. The trending topic of today around the globe, not just America, is centrism. More so on top of that, we see that the inability of the federal government to understand that Texas has the right to protect its borders has been pushed back. Isn't that amazing? An actual federal judge came back and said, you know what? Nah, Texas can't do that. You can't be, you know, getting illegal immigrants and, and arresting them and all that good stuff. No, sir, you can't do that. No, sir. -ree. And now Texas cannot actually arrest people coming across illegally into our nation. How, how amazing is it's our world. On top of that, we see that now we have Chinese migrants coming into the border illegally, but not on at Texas. No, no, no. There's actually reports that in Maine, Chinese immigrants were trying to cross illegally into the state of Maine. Who would have seen that coming? Oh my God. It's like, I, I, I said it like four months ago. Oh my God. Isn't that crazy y'all? But yet again, here we are. Chinese immigrants crossing through Canada to get to the United States. Who would have seen that coming y'all? On top of that, we see that not only the federal government is crazy, not only the people accepting the fact that anybody can cross over the, the actual border with nothing. We see places like Scanner reporting that democracy is in decline and that the results of the 2024 election will shape the international environment for years to come. I, I just got to laugh, bro, because who didn't, how, how, how is it possible that we actually have an article about something like that. How can it not shape the upcoming elections? How, how can it not? We have a president that is basically doing nothing internationally other than touting and saying, mm, I got nukes, I got this, I got that. Guess what? Russia also has them, and they have just deployed 12 of them to the border in Ukraine in a pushback with the actual wonderful push that NATO said that, no, Ukraine will be in, in NATO. We don't give a shit. Oh, well, guess what? Poke the bear and the bear will poke you back. That's where we are today in the world. This and more topics is what we're going to be talking about today in Think Like the Enemy. 
if you like this actual type of, you know, little creative outlet, please let me know. I hope that you're laughing as much as I am inside, even if I am about to crap my pants. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for watching. If you like it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let's see what we can get out of this, y'all. Talk to you later and see you in the next one. Remember, always think like the enemy.